Hi guys, it's Tom and welcome back to Train Sim TV. And in today's video, we will be having a drive with the Class 390 Avanti West Coast uh, on a service between Blackpool North and Preston on Northern Lines Electric. It's a route by myself, um, it's available for on-track simulation. Link is in the description below if you do wish to download this. Uh, download this sorry. Uh, this is one of the included scenarios for the route as well. So, um, I'm going to have a basic drive, it's about a 20 minute run um, between Blackpool North and Preston, uh, only calling up Preston after Blackpool. I'm going to just have a, a general drive, just a little talk about obviously the route, um, and just any bits and pieces that hopefully I will be able to, like, I can give you an idea of what sort of is to come uh, for the future of the route as well, um, obviously when other projects have finished. So, we're going to get ourselves into the cab, get ourselves set up, and we'll get ourselves on our way. So, good afternoon and welcome aboard the 1502 Avanti West Coast service to London Euston. We will be calling at Preston, Wigan North Western, Warrington Bank Quay, Rugby and London Euston. Please prepare your train and allow passengers to board. A driver change will take, uh, will take place at Preston for the service. Alright, so let's get some uh, stuff set up. So, key. Into neutral. Cancel the AWS. We're going to have to cancel these alarms here. So tilt up, not available, speed reduction, and pan tilt fault. And then the task warning needs to be cancelled as well. So get some instrument lighting on. Uh, I think as well on the Blackpool line, tilt is isolated. So wherever that button may be, I have no idea. I'll find that in a minute. Let's get the lights on. So day running to isolate, there it is. Cancel that. So we're just waiting um obviously the time to go. We are just opening our doors now. 1502 departure. Um I just want to make sure I have my um destination set up as well. It is one of these buttons. I forget which one it is. I did this the other day. Oh it is. We want uh, London Euston on here. There we go. I think everything is set up apart from that bit. Where I've just pressed W back there. Just cancel that. And Tass have probably come out again. There we go. Right. We are good to go. We have got the right away so take the DRA off and hopefully we will get some power hey there we go right excellent so we're just leaving that pull north now 17 and a half miles exactly to Preston platform 4 where we'll be picking up and doing a driver change We are running the new version of the Pendolino. The reskin is the Avanti West Coast, which is available from Major Wales. Um, also, Leaving the iconic Blackpool Tower behind in the distance, just as you can see there. Um, so, the route. Um, the route was released Christmas last year. <laughs> trying to remember then uh, yeah so it's, it's been out a while now the route um plans are to do more work with the route um i mean i want to take the route to blackpool south um it's been a, an ambition to do for quite some time now so hopefully 
when uh, we have Harrogate Loot version 2 extension out the door and of course the um, Cumbrian Coast which are in, in line first to be worked on um, I'm hoping to take this to the next stage then other jobs are as you'll see here ATS released an update to their over the wiring kit um, some time ago and they added new series 2 stuff uh, now these weren't updates to the original um, series 2 actually these are brand new models um, they fixed dimensions and stuff like that so the dimensions are actually uh, not correct on the original ones as you can see the, the, there was quite a difference in, in how they look compared to these ones um, I think this was mainly due to obviously ATS's chat moss route which is in progress um, using series 2 as well so I think these were mainly made obviously to help with them on their upcoming route now I've, I've placed literally one set of these in here just to have a little play with um, the aim is to actually redo the overhead wiring um, on the route so it uses the newer stuff um, but at the minute I haven't had the chance to actually sit down and rip it all up and redo it again because it's such it's quite a big job really so it's going to take some time I'm, I'm hoping to probably I'm going to end up ripping one piece out replace it wire it it's going to take some time so I want to try and keep it so it looks exactly the same just obviously it's got the right sizing of stuff um, so that is one of the jobs that I do aim to sort later on once everything else is uh, done I mean the model looks a lot nicer it looks quite bright actually because uh, the lights are facing on it if you go on this side <clears throat> if you look at the model on these they look a lot nicer um, than them the uh, the pole starters fin uh, on the new one either and there's a lot more gubbins on them there's a lot more detail um, and they just look nicer as well so that is one job which hopefully will come in time which I've, once everything else is out of the way I mean um, Cumbrian Coast Harrogate Loop Hopefully we'll be able to start working on it later on in the year. Fingers crossed, we'll see how things sort of pan out. Really, very busy time at uh, the at the, how, the household of Tom, um, new baby due imminently um, as well, which will obviously take a lot of the time um, from my spare time. So you have to bear with us on that one. Obviously, Mark will be here as well. He'll be uh, filling in the gaps and stuff like that, and we'll uh, we'll just get things to you as and when we can really. Um, of course, also Blackpool South again, as I mentioned before. So Blackpool South is an, a big undertaking to be done. Um, some of the scenery has been done on the line between Kirkham and Moss Side. It's nearly actually complete on the section to Moss Side. There's a slight gap, but um, there is a, there has been a bit of work done on it after after we actually released the first version. It just never sort of like continued. I sort of got bored, <laughs> which is typical, and I went on to Cumbrian Coast again. Mainly because I wanted a change. With stutters around here. Annoyingly. Quite a busy tile it loads in uh, on the way into Poulton. But yeah, um, I do want to do Blackpool South. It is a it's a long ambition to get it all done and have the whole Blackpool area finally in TS as a whole. So fingers crossed that will be uh, started on. Uh, once all the other jobs are out of the way on the other projects. I sort of work in a conveyor belt really, I sort of like finish one and go back to another and then I'll, I'll have the next one back at the end of the conveyor belt and it'll just move along. So it'll be like, I work on Northern Lines Electric, Northern Lines, Harrogate Loop, Cumbrian Coast and back again and around and around. So that everything gets a fair do at it and everything gets worked on fairly. So we're just approaching Portland and Fylde. One of the old spurs off the left there, which used to go towards the Fleetwood line. Ripped up a long time ago, I believe. Not actually sure when that, uh, that junction got took up, to be honest. I think there used to be a station on it as well. Alright, so we're down. No, not down to 20 are we? I'm, I'm thinking in terms of speeds from um, the old days 
It's not, it's 35. That shows how long it's been since I've driven the route. So we're, uh, we're just approaching Port Station and uh, passing the former site where the signal box was. Uh, the line from Fleetwood also used to come in on the uh, left hand side, but obviously the junction had been severed off um, on the upgrade. We're just going through Polton Station. Can we get an ice cream shop with Polton? Who knows? My favourite spot. This like, whenever I come to Polton for trains um, for photos of 37s, I usually come for this spot here. It's never as busy as this. <laughs> But um, you get a nice shot with the uh, with the sign and stuff there, and the station in the background. I'm gonna go with that, I think. But yeah, it's never this busy. It usually rains. That's why when I come here. I'm not actually sure if an Avanti Pendolino has actually made it in this livery to Blackpool yet. Could be wrong. But I haven't actually ever seen any photos um, of this livery actually making it into Blackpool. Um, I mean, obviously, there's no Pendolinos to Blackpool at all, I don't think, at the minute, with uh, everything going on. Oh, I'm being told off. I'm being told off. Should always keep going on the speed on the Pendolino. Tass will tell you off and it'll end up locking the brakes on. But we've managed to keep around that. Stop it in the in its tracks. Um yeah, so I don't I don't think there's any pendulums at the minute as well with all the, the COVID going on, obviously the reduced timetables. Um also I know they're sort of easing up and stuff and there's more services appearing, so hopefully uh, we might start seeing pendulums back on the Blackpool line um soon enough. So it's 70 mile an hour all the way up to Kirkham and then it ups itself to 75 mile an hour which is quite bizarre really they get pendolinos down here and the speeds are so slow I mean you've got sections like this where I've fallen straight lines you could easily get 80 out of this 90 at a push just passing over Singleton Bank Passing the uh, the site of the former signal box, um, which I think stood somewhere around on the left hand side, currently about here, many years ago. Um, I think it sort of went in the late 90s, early 2000s, I think, off the top of my head. This footbridge as well coming up, um, recently came, um, just before everything sort of started um, Getting to how it was with the COVID situation, came here for the um, Class 90 run, um, which were training up at Blackpool at the time um, for Grand Central. Bit of a test, really, just to see what the site was like for photos, and it, it turned out it was really good. It was better for the afternoon shot. I mean, I came in the morning, the light wasn't very good, but it will be one I will revisit um, when everything's back up and running. Um, definitely for an afternoon shot of the Class 90 coming to Blackpool. I'm still hoping that we'll get some Grand, uh, Grand Central stuff for training sim in the 90s and Mark 4s. I've seen people doing reskins and stuff. Um, I know one did come out, um, but I think it had the orange stripe on the 90. Um, I've not seen one with the yellow stripe, so fingers crossed we'll get some proper stock and we can start doing some uh, runs on the route uh, with that stock and get some scenarios made. I did do a scenario, to be honest, um, with the early training runs when the 90s were top and tail. There is one available on Vulcan Productions um, from myself. Just round the bend at Wheaton. Wheaton Village is um, on the left hand side, just over where this bridge goes over, you go to the left down there. And we're now coming up to the M55 motorway. Part of the former Blackpool Central line trap bed to the right hand side of the motorway as well. Um, that comes in shortly as well on the right hand side. Long gone, but that um, did used to take over where the motorway now runs. Well, the motorway takes over that, shall I say. We 
there was a signal box on the right hand side here many years ago as well. I can't remember which one it was, but there was one that used to study. It was quite a high one actually. It used to sort of like dominate the like the, the the area on the bank in there. A lot of the foot crossings have all disappeared now. They're all foot bridges. Uh, again, this used to be a foot crossing, which is simulated on the uh, the old version of Northern Lines. So the the old Blackpool Central line sort of comes in on the left, uh, the right hand side now, because you see an old bridge just behind the overgrowth there, and then it would sort of curve off, go over the flyover, and then join in as well where the signal box once stood at the junction uh, where Blackpool South line comes in. Brad Kurt tip on the right hand side, which once stood there, used to be all, uh, a lot of freight trains and bits and pieces that used to run into there as well, back in the 80s and 90s. All overgrown now, a lot of the track ripped up. A Blackpool South line comes in just to the right hand side there. I'm going to go for a shot down here. I do like Kirkham. One of Mr. Willstead's. Um, stations here. A fantastic job he did of this as well. I believe uh, Kirk was just to the right hand side of us there. <clears throat> Head now towards Solwick. Car Hill Lane, which comes over the top of us here. So we're at our 75 limit as well, we'll actually just slowed ourselves down a little bit, that was probably a bit more power back on. Just making sure that you don't go over the speed limit because this thing tells you often it, it, before you know it, you, you come to a grinding halt. Not what you want. <clears throat> We're just approaching Solwick now. Springfield's BNFL um, nuclear site. I think it's nuclear. Not too sure. I know it's all chemicals and stuff like that. We used to have a rail um, link going into it a long time ago. It used to be a um, a little loop. It's now covered over. Uh, it's all uplifted and everything. You just go like around the side where this fencing is. And then there used to be a little sign and it took you off into there as well many years ago. Not sure when that got lifted to be honest.
So we're only 4.2 miles away now to Preston. During about five minutes. Turn the air condition off, that does me head in. So glad you can turn air con off on certain uh, units um, nowadays. <clears throat> Especially with the EPs and stuff. So shortly we're going to be slowing down for the 55 mile an hour mark and then just after that um, about half mile after it will be down to 35 where we travel into Preston so the next day the West ramp will get will be a warning So it was a bit of a stutter when you come into Preston. Sometimes it's a little bit slow loading some of the tiles up because there's just so much going on. I mean, it's the loss usually, it's struggle sometimes on this bit. Hit and miss really. Depends on your PC specs really, I would suppose. I get laughed at because I've got AMD. So that'd be the reason. <laughs> You can see the wires, they'll, they'll just reappear randomly. Thirty-five. We're down to 25 in half a mile time, which is just around the crossovers. And we're straight into Preston Platform 4. <clears throat> I do hope you've enjoyed this run as well, guys. Um, and it's just quite a basic video, just a, a basic drive along the route. Uh, my local route as well. Um, one of the reasons why we built the route. Um, massive thanks to everyone that has watched it. Don't forget, the link is in the description if you haven't uh, downloaded the route before and you do want to have a look. Um, thank you, everyone, for the support as well that has downloaded the route over the time since it's been out and the original Northern Lines 2 means a lot uh, also don't forget like share and subscribe if you want any uh, is there any feedback or anything um, any questions regarding the route or anything to do with the channel don't forget we will 
um, comment as fast as we can. Um, we do try and get in, in, in contact back with everyone that has dropped us a message um, on the channel. You can catch on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Um, Tuesdays and Saturdays are our usual days, although at the minute it's a little bit here and there uh, with a lot of things going on um, at the minute. So do bear with us on that. We will obviously inform you if and when we do, um, or if we have to postpone a stream uh, currently at the moment. Massive thank you guys. Um, thanks for watching. We are now just arriving to Preston. I've been Tom and it's been Train Sim TV. Once again, thank you ever so much for joining us for the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care and goodbye.